Hey, this is Jeff. I uh, just got a question from Glenn and he asked me how to set up a counting variable in Storyline. Uh, he's got a project where he's got several hotspots and every time a, a user uh, hovers his mouse over it, the hotspot, it should add one to the variable and show the actual uh, user uh, how many uh, hotspots he or she has found. So how do you set it up? Let's take a look in Storyline. I've got a project here uh, where I basically mimicked what Glenn was asking. There are three uh, hotspots in this spot image, uh, which uh, are basically unsafe situations. Well, there are quite a few in this one, but we're looking for three, as you can see, issues found zero out of three. Uh, and I know that there's one here. And as you can see, I can uh, hover my mouse over on top of it multiple times. It will only count it once, not every time I go over it. Uh, these guys are not really wearing the proper attire. And look at what they're standing on. There we go. Three out of three. So how did I set that up? Let's take a quick look. So we're now in the storyline project that I created as a demo for this. Uh, you see three hotspots here, uh, which are free form hotspots, so I can draw them in the exact space that I want them. And I created a bunch of variables, a var issues found. This is the variable I'm going to display on screen. And this is where I'll be adding the number uh, once I hover over the mount, uh, hotspot. I've got three true false variables with a default value of false which basically allow me to say, hey, I've hovered over a hotspot one, now I'm gonna set this to true, so I've been there once, I will not do it again. So what does that look like? To display my uh, actual amount of numbers of hotspots found on screen, I just put the variable name in between percentage brackets. So basically, uh, that just displays the value in a live course. Since the default value is zero, we'll start with zero. And if I uh, put my mouse on top of the hotspot, it will go into the triggers pane and we'll check out what kind of triggers it needs to go through. As you can see here, I'm gonna open that. I've got a trigger here that says adjust variable, which one? Variable issues found and add the value of one. When? when the mouse hovers over hotspot number three. But there's a condition. It will only do that when var hotspot three is equal to false. So I've never been there before. Once that is done, and if this is true, then it will set the var hs3 equal to true. So the next time when my mouse hovers over hotspot number three, this statement will not be right because for hs3 will be true and it will not keep adding and adding and adding numbers to my for issues found variable that's it i hope that helps just copy those uh, two triggers on top of the other uh, hotspots and you're done